Good day to each of you and welcome to Wow Wednesdays, uh, our time of sharing together in the middle of the week where we remind you of announcements and today we'll add some appreciations and uh, those who are on our, uh, our list for prayer and then uh, a word, just a word, a short word for the day and for those who will be at Bible study this evening, we will continue that word and we will eat. Um, expand it in our study on tonight. Know that each of you are welcome to be with us on uh, Zoom this evening for Bible study. If you are able to, you should come and, and, and be a part, and you are definitely welcome to do so. But we didn't want you to be without a midweek word, so we wanted to make sure we came to you this way. So again, good day, and welcome to Wild Wednesdays. Uh, first, we want to... Um, uh, give any announcements that we have for this week. We have no um, no extra things other than our, our continual uh, food pantry outreach, which is tomorrow at 11. And hopefully those of you who can will come and assist uh, this great work that happens each week at Carter Metropolitan. We are excited about all that we do to try to make a difference in the community and there is more to come. And so uh, this week we have no um, added announcements other than it is Fifth Sunday. And so we want you to come prepared to share with our missionaries uh, in their special offering uh, each uh, Fifth Sunday that helps them with their bottom line that they are re responsible for, for the region. And so we thank you in advance for what you're going to do to support our missionaries. I haven't had an opportunity to say thank you for each of you who uh, made sure that you gave and now we are, are done with our conference claims, at, but don't, don't get rested because we want to move forward so that we are not struggling again at the end of the year and there's more to come. You'll hear from the stewards and myself uh, soon about what our, our initiative is as our, our chair said. Uh, at our meeting on Monday night, our initiatives for moving forward. Thanks to each of you who was at, who were at, um, who were at our uh, church conference on Monday evening. I thank you so much for your presence. It matters that you are there, and please don't think that it's only for officers. It's for every person who is a part of the church. Um, church conference is uh, specifically identified with those who need to be in church conference, but everyone is welcome for when you are part of this faith community, your voice matters. So please know that you are welcome. I also want to thank uh, Reverend Brinson, the ministry staff, and all who continue to work diligently in my absence this past Sunday, uh, including our music team and everyone else. You are absolutely appreciated and thank you so much for all that you do. We want to pray for those whose names we have and maybe those names we do not have we can share so that we can continue to pray for them. Uh, we want to pray for all of our bereaved families, those who have, uh, have um, had loved ones to transition over the last several months. We know that grief has no timeline. And then we want to pray for Brother and Sister Bess, Sister Newton, Sister Joanna Roberts, Sister Brother Mark Brown, Sister Rita Jackson, Dr. Sims, Dr. Ballinger, and Brother G. Uh, Dr. Ballinger's name is on this list that is new. She is okay, but it is a, a cautionary tale for us to know. Please check with your doctor. Those of you who've been taking medicines a long time, sometimes your body says no. And so make sure that you are keeping up to date with that so that you will not have any reactions. But we thank God for her, uh, her healing. And we thank God that uh, as we talked on yesterday, she is in good spirits. So we thank God for each of you as you pray for all of us. Amen. Amen. So we want to end our time together today with just a word. Uh, the lectionary, uh, narrative lectionary gives us a Matthew scripture, which is the Beatitudes, but that is also our lectionary scripture for Sunday. And you will hear about that on Sunday. So I didn't want to double 
But our secondary scripture comes from Psalms 1 because we're talking about who is blessed, how to be blessed. So you want to be blessed? Psalms 1 tells us how blessings come. Blessings come when we are careful not to be in places that don't line up with our character. Uh, blessed is the person who doesn't uh, hang out with the wicked, that doesn't stand in, in the counsel of the ungodly, who doesn't hang out with those who are scorners and mockers of, of church and of church people and of, 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 the, of godliness. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm struggling in this season with those who are very critical of the church but are not necessarily being proactive in their way of dealing with how they can help the church to improve. So it, it, it's important that we don't sit in that place. Uh, far too many people are sitting in the place of wickedness and scorn and of uh, hanging out in that place where sin is okay. Uh, we are looking at a lot of violence that is going on, and it's really a mind thing. It's getting our minds right. When we sit in our struggle, when we sit in our pain, when we sit in those things that, that disturb us, eventually we end up getting uh, some residual on us, and sometimes that overtakes the mind. And so my word to us, even as believers, is to be careful how long we rewind pain, how long we sit in the difficult place and keep rewinding when God has given us hope. Uh, in the Psalm, they did not necessarily have the knowledge of Christ Jesus, though they had the, the hope of Christ. But we have Christ Jesus. We have Holy Spirit. So we can we cannot spend so much time sitting in places where there is not a godly uh, presence. We have to, to sit ourselves in a place where we are meditating on the word of God. So that means that we have to be in a place where we are, 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 are not, where we're not uh, sitting in a place where we are, are um where we are struggling with our character, but we are sitting in the place of contentment. And contentment is in the knowledge of the law of the Lord. Now, now, don't get caught up on legalism. I'm not telling you to be legalistic. We are not Pharisees. We are not Sadducees. We are not the Sanhedrin Council. None of us are perfect, and we can lean on law all day long and mess up. But the spirit of the law is to live in a way where God is pleased. Jesus has shown us that way. And so it's about getting our mind like the mind of Christ. And that's something that we progress with every single day. So we want to make sure that we are uh, living uh, in good character, but also knowing that when we live in good character, we're blessed. And therefore we find contentment in the word of God and how that word applies to our lives. And so, and, and the, the text says in Psalms 1 that if we do that, if we delight in the, law, in the law of the Lord and meditate in it day and night, then we shall have some consequences. And consequences are usually, uh, we hear the word consequences and they intimate to us, they, they make us think about negative things. But consequences are just results. And so consequences can be positive, consequences can be good. And so the result, the consequence of, of, of working on character and, and of being uh, content in the word of God is the consequence of being able to be by that river of water, of keeping renewal, of being in that place of renewal and receiving the blessings of the Lord. Uh, there are consequences for those who do not. For those who do not are like the chaff, which the wind blows away. And we know when that happens. But, but our delight, our excitement is that the consequence for those of us who stay in the word of God is that we will be like trees planted by the rivers of water who show forth their fruit in due season. And, and that we are blessed and, and we are become the delight of the Lord. So, my word to you today is if you want to be blessed, 
Get in the word of God. Stay in the place where your mind is renewed and your life is transformed. That's what Paul meant when Paul wrote that later, that we won't be conformed to the world, but we'd be renewed by, 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 the, trans, by the transforming of our lives. Our minds will be renewed and then our lives will be transformed. So as you go, as you go forth this rest of this week, you want to be blessed. Be careful how you sit in, in places where God cannot get the glory. When you sit in places where negativity is thrown at you, when you sit in places where you're rewinding the stuff that has happened in your life so that you are finding yourself bitter, uh, that is not a place where blessings dwell. Find a place where you are sitting with God and contentment comes your way. And then you can receive the blessing, blessed consequences of that time with God. And God will show God's self in your life. May God bless you. May heaven smile on you. We hope to see you this weekend. Invite someone to church. Invite someone to share with you. Even someone who may be a part of the family who is concerned about, about um, the health concerns. We are taking great precautions. So tell them, come on to church and know that they will be blessed by the fellowship and that we are looking for them. See you soon. God bless you.